Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Ashley, and in today's video, okay, so first off, this is a long-awaited video. Like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting forever to do this video. If y'all haven't checked out my video already, go check it out. I got my car for my 17th birthday. I still say I got my car at 16 because I literally, they surprised me with it the day before. So I still got that car at 16. I'm right with it right now. Hold on. Let me just show you a real tour before on the outside and on the inside because today we're going to be decorating my car with me video. You feel me? So let's Let's get straight into this video. First off, check out the rims. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is my favorite part of the car. I love the little body it has, the sunroof. Bro, I told my dad my car has to have the sunroof. I got my windows tinted literally last weekend. It was like a Saturday morning. This is the back of my car. First off, I love the color. The gray is given everything. I named my car Ash Gray for the color. And you know, Ash Lee, Ash Gray. We got the little fin right here. I love the fin. It's given shark, you know, baby shark, not daddy shark, because this car is just, ugh, I, don't, I don't even know. Okay, okay. So we do got the chrome on the side. I want to do a chrome delete and get that black but we just gonna have to wait for that. Moving on to the front. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the front of my car. I love how it's not like too smooth on the front. It's not too aggressive like the Honda Civic, but it's a little bit of both. For all my Rick and Morty fans, you know, I love Rick and Morty, so I had to get Pickle Rick up here squashed in my front windshield. And that was the quick little tour for the outside. Don't mind if my head look real shiny. I'm in the sun right now, but let's get in the car. All right, so once we open the car, we get in here. We got the wood glossy interior in the front, you feel me? The black leather seats. As you see, it looks really spacious. I love how literally everything is black from the door to like the front little thing right there, the seats, the floor. Once I got my car, I needed a steering wheel cover and I did not want to do no rhinestone or no furry fluffy stuff. So I went with this white stitch original Honda steering wheel cover. I literally love it. I feel like it matches on my car too. We got the two screens. When I turn the car on, like this is like the time and everything. This is where Apple CarPlay goes. It's push to start. The button is red. I wish it was kind of blue low key because like even the accents when I turn my screen on everything is just like blue and black bro y'all y'all see that right there it's not trying to go away it's right there there's a bee in my car i literally had to rush out and it's not trying to get out it's like a black bee i don't know what it is that's pretty much it for the front forgot to mention y'all know i love rick and morty so i got my rick and morty a key lanyard because my car is pushed to start i got my little remote right here and it got the little blue cover Moving on to the back. We got hella space back here. This seat is a little pushed back because I wanted to show y'all the front. So usually that's a little more in front. Don't mind the dirtiness on my... You probably can't even see it on camera, but my dog was in here yesterday because I have to go catch him. Okay, so finally we in here, actual sitting setting. I don't know if I should just do this so y'all can see me a little better. Um... I don't know, is this better? I feel like that's a little too much. Okay, well, I ordered a whole bunch of things on Shein. I went to the store and copped some things. So let's just start with the Shein stuff. Um, my package literally came yesterday. It's just like small things, little decor. First thing I got, I think it's a little cute essential. Almost a lot of people have this. It's these right here, this little just hanging heart things. I got two because I want one on the outside of my car and one on the inside. Let's go ahead and open it. So this is what it looks like. It actually doesn't feel like cheap or anything. Like the quality is actually pretty good. These are so cute. Like first off, let me say that the vibe in my car is blue and black. Like that's the theme. So I had to go with the black hearts. You know, these little hanging things right here. That's where I kind of wanted to put it, but on the passenger side, or I don't know, like back here, this is the only one that has like a little clip onto the hanging thing. I could have just put that there too. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know how you're supposed to put this on like. How do you hang this onto something? Okay, so I finally found a screwdriver. I had to look all over my house. There's no reason why it was supposed to be that hard to find a screwdriver in my own house. So apparently you're supposed to unloosen these like little bullets things. Screws? What am I talking about? So you unloosen them and then you can open it basically and then hook it onto wherever you want to. Let me just do this real quick. 
I finally did it and this is how it like opens and comes apart basically. Let's go to the back of my car so we can install these. This is my first little car mod, you feel me? All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're under my car now and this little hook thing that you see right here, that's where I'm gonna put the heart. As I'm realizing the hook, as you see, it's like this. So I have to hook it onto it like this. So basically, if I were to hook it on, it would be sideways instead of like this. I'm still gonna end up doing it sideways anyway because the car is gonna move, the wind is gonna blow, and it's just gonna be like that. It's gonna be cute. I got my screws right here in the little top. Let me get the screwdriver above my car. So this is what it looks like. As you see, it's sideways, but when the car moves, it's gonna go frontwards. My parents came up with an idea of using a zip tie to just make it look straight instead of sideways. Boom, and we just cut that zip tie. So I'm gonna rate the heart a 10 out of 10 because I mean, I like the quality. It was, I mean, it's just plastic, but the band seemed pretty strong. The screws went in, they're pretty easy to install. So that's a 10 out of 10. See, when you put your mind together, you can make it work, guys. As you see, we put a zip tie on it. You guys can take that idea too. And now it's perfect. It's perfectly straight. I have my second heart, but I don't know where I should put it. Like, I kind of want to put it in my car. Like, maybe that side, because no one really ever sits on that side. The next thing I got from Shein 2, I'm going to put a little picture right here, was this little push to start, like, button, kind of. It reminded me of a race car, so you know I'm, I'm a little mini race car driver. And so here it is. Um, It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. Basically, you put this on the push thing. Oops. Okay, dropping everything already. So I think they might have gave me the wrong thing because this is supposed to come with a little sticky thing on the back so I can easily put on my push. Let me just show you. This is supposed to go right here. And every time that I want to push the thing, I just flip it up. But there is no sticky thing on here. This is the bag it came in. It's completely empty. I'm so sad that I'm not going to be able to use this because... How am I supposed to stick it on here? Like double-sided tape maybe? I don't know. The next thing that I got were these metal pedals. So this... I haven't seen this on nobody's car. Let me go ahead and open this. Um, also from Shein. This is what they look like. It's kind of cute. I honestly just wanted anything in my car to be blue and black, but without overdoing it, it comes with two pedals. Um, they're screws, and now I have to figure out how to install this. Like, and where are the instructions? Let me figure this out real quick, and then I'll show you how I put it on. Literally only the brake pedal fit this car, but y'all know I got two cars, so I tried it on the gas pedal one, and let me go show y'all. Not many of y'all know that I started off with this car. So right here, it's a little dirty, don't mind. It fit perfectly. So now I got half and half. Now that right there was a workout. By the way, I'm going to rate those pedals a calm little 7 out of 10 only because one, it was kind of confusing to install, but then after I watched the video, it was pretty easy. Two, it didn't fit my gas pedal, but that's probably my bad because I probably should have checked the sizes before I bought them. Other than that though, it's fine. I love it. Next thing on the list, let me show you guys what I have on my little mirror. Before my theme used to be red and black, but I changed it to blue, so now I had to change this as well that's my little rosario or whatever but i have this black like cross necklace that i wanted to put on there it's literally the cross with another cross in the middle of the cross it's black beaded took the red one off and of course the red one does look better because it's an actual rosario but this right here is still jesus it presents jesus christ i hope and it still looks good right here, you know, and we got to stay protected, you feel me? The next thing I got, this is more of a convenience type of thing. I got these little hangers. They're um, carbon fiber, you know, that's kind of the vibe that I was going for. Like the push to start button was also carbon fiber, but it didn't come with a little sticky thing. But anyways, I'm going to put my bag on here. You can hang literally anything that you want. Let's go to the back real quick. Here we are. It's pretty easy. All you got to do is just, whoops, put that on here. And you can just put the little head thing right back down. And there it is in this little tight spot. Move to the second one real quick. Boom. 
and there we got it see now i'm about to hang all of my stuff here usually i'm gonna put my backpack there a little purse if i have one after going through a whole bunch of trash i found the sticky things for my push to start button you put this on the circle here i am trying to concentrate and put this on correctly here we are and now you peel this white part i just dropped it on the carpet so now there's a whole bunch of hair on it but let's go ahead and put this on here and there we go it looks so cool it's literally giving race car vibe i'm gonna rank that a calm 7 out of 10 because you know it's kind of bigger than what i wanted it to be but i mean it looks like it's gonna stay on there so i don't have to worry about anything if you guys noticed when i was putting my pedals on there is no carpet so i went out the way to buy this cute designed carpet i literally saw this and fell in love with it take another look you feel me that is so cute so let's go ahead and put this because now it's really gonna add the major blue and black vibe that i got going on here we are sorry if the lighting changes a little bit but i'm gonna take this little paper off it comes with two little front seat things and then it comes with the back these aren't like the full covers is just to put on there so i'm not gonna lie to you i thought it was gonna be bigger and like more well fitting i don't know why so this is how it looks like in the back i really don't know how i feel about it i got mixed emotions on about this like should i take the original ones off or do i keep it on like that i don't know let me just put this here it doesn't even look that bad i don't know i don't know we're gonna keep pushing with the video because we just gotta trust the process the next little things that i got is these glow in the dark tire caps kind of i was pretty excited for this right now of course we're not gonna be able to check it um because it's not dark outside but here they are they're like some sky blue color um i want to go put this on my tires right now they charge with the sunlight and then at night they brighten the dark you feel me here i got my beautiful rims um let me just take this off real quick sorry for the noise of the neighbor but even if they don't glow i don't care i literally love it it just adds like a little blue accent to the tires it's cute a little, you know it's a little eye-catching the next thing i got this right here i wanted to go on the front of my car um maybe in the back it's like a little ribbon it's black although i'm kind of starting to wish it was blue because i want more blue on the outside of my car here it is i don't even know how it's supposed to like go on your car i know that this is the right way up it comes with a little caution sticker to put on here and it looks like this and let's go find a place on the outside of my car to, to add this And this is what it looks like, guys. This is not coming off. This is secured from this side, this side, and this side. So I kind of messed up the sticker a little bit. I don't know if you could tell, but it's cute. It's gonna be dangling while I'm driving. The next thing I got was this blue lining from Shein as well. I'm literally putting a picture of everything on the screen. Comes with this little tool that I could push it in with. And it's, I don't know how much feet it is, but it's pretty long press it into your car and i guess like it won't come off and like you can cut it and just put it everywhere here as you can see i cut it and it's kind of hard to like do this and record at the same time so I'm, i want to like get back with you guys in a second <laughs> unfortunately i have work at four o'clock it's currently like 3 20 and i don't know how i'm about to finish all of this and this video and go get ready but it's looking good so far 